Hey! What it do? I'm Nick, and today we are taking this. 4 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine and we are going to put a throttle assembly on it right here because I have scoured the internet looking for tutorials and stuff to do it and I can't find any to save my life so I did some research and I'm gonna do it myself and hopefully for all you people out there that want to learn how to do it tune in and we'll show you how to do it so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need one of these Briggs and Stratton throttle kits come in one of these little bags and what it comes with is you have your throttle 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 a holder that holds the shell and then you've got your throttle arm that connects to the side of the carburetor right here and then you've got your other little hardware to connect the the piece of wire that goes from here to your throttle and then obviously another one for your throttle twist grip so first, first of all, we're gonna do is we're gonna install this. And what you're gonna have right here in this vicinity, you're gonna have a little plastic piece that will hold it on. Let me go grab one and show you this thing. This is what it looks like, and it basically fits in right in there, right in there, just like that. If you can see that, zoom in on there for you. Fits in right there on the side, just like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace it with this new piece. And that's going to fit right in there. And the way you think it goes, that's wrong. Go backwards. It's going to go in like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our little bolt, run it through. And screw it in. First of all, I'm going to take this thing off or at least get it out of the way. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. And basically, we, get, we got this thing put on there. You can see that right in there. Good view right there. We got this thing put on. So now that we got this on, we're gonna put our choke and old throttle assembly. We're gonna put that back on and get this thing put back together. All right, I had it right the first time or a couple times ago, but I messed it up like three or four times. But now this time I got it. And see the thing is, so I gotta make a return, have a return spring, which is set up right there. So then when you pull the throttle, I'll show this to you in a second. When you pull the throttle, there you go. You have to break it in, but you know, it'll work. Bam, shakalaka. So now that we have that thing set up, what we can do is we can take this thing and we're gonna pull it out. Not all the way, but just far enough. It's out, all right, so. That spring might be a little too much, but I think we should be fine. So, throttle's pulled. Bam. There we are. So, that is a tutorial on how to put together your throttle on a old Briggs Stratton engine. Thank you for tuning into this episode of Minimoto. Hope to see you in the next one. Uh, also, comment down below, tell me what you think, and also some suggestions for further videos. And also, subscribe if you like it, because we got a lot more coming. I got some ideas, but I need more from you. So we got a lot more coming, so hit that, hit that subscribe button. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you want to show your friends, that'd be great. Press share button, you know what to do from there. So thank you for tuning into this episode of Minimoto. See you in the next one.